Hey everyone, welcome back to System DLL Tech. In today's video, let's look at how to fix missing MSVCP 140 underscore 1.dll error. For the first method, you need to manually download the missing DLL file and place them in the appropriate folders on your PC. Now to do this, open your browser, go to this link, scroll down to the download section where you should be able to see different versions of the DLL file. Now just select one version and download the 32 and 64 bit DLL file. To do that, click on the download button and save. Go back, similarly download the 64 bit file as well. Click on save. Now that you downloaded the zip files, you need to extract the contents. Right click on the file and select extract all. Now repeat the same process for the 64 bit file as well. Alright, next open this PC, C folder, Windows folder, scroll down and you should be able to find the system32 folder. Here you need to copy the 64 bit file and paste it here. Now if you have a previous version of msvcp140 underscore one dot dll then there's a chance that this file is corrupt so in that case you can replace the file with the new file however if you do not have a previous file then this copy paste should occur more smoothly now since i've already fixed this issue on my pc i'm not going to replace the file again similarly go back to windows and next find the syswow64 folder here you need to copy the 32-bit file and paste it in this folder. Now once you followed all these steps, restart your PC and try launching the application again to see if the DLL error is fixed. For the next method, you need to manually download Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable and install it on your PC. Now to do this, open your browser again and go to this link. Under architecture, you should be able to see x86 and x64. You need to download the files from both these links. So click on this link, select save, repeat the same for x64 as well. Now once you've downloaded the files, you need to install them. So right click and select run as administrator, select yes agree to license terms and conditions and then click on install click on close repeat the same for x86 all right here it's suggesting to restart the pc so once you've completed the installation i would recommend to restart the pc and then Try launching the application again to see if the missing DLL error is fixed. For the next method, you need to uninstall and reinstall the application that is causing the missing DLL error. Now to do this, go to the search area of the taskbar and type add or remove programs. Click on the first result. Here you should be able to see the list of applications that are already installed on your PC. Use the search option on top to find the application that you want to uninstall. Once you found it, on the right side of it, you should be able to find these three dots, click on it and then select uninstall. Once uninstallation process is complete, go back to the source site, download either a previous version or a newer version of the same application, run the setup and then try to launch the application again to see if the DLL error is getting fixed. If none of the previous methods work, you can try running Windows Update to see if that fixes the missing DLL error. Now to update Windows OS, click on the search area of the taskbar and type settings. Click on the first result, click on Windows Update and then click on this check for updates. This will take a while and it will find out if there are any updates available for your Windows OS. In my PC there are no updates available, however in your PC if there are any updates available, Windows will automatically install them and once installation is complete, you need to restart your PC and then try running the application again to see if the missing DLL error is getting fixed. 
So that's it for this video. Hope the method shared in this video was useful for you. Until next video, thank you and bye-bye.